Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Wise and I'm the director and founder of Jerry Wise Relationship Systems. I've been a life and relationship uh, coach and uh, professional for a marriage and family expert for about 40 years and I wanted to share with you a video entitled today thinking outside the system box. I have many clients who ask me what should I do when my family or someone is relating to me in, a, in the same old way and I want to respond in a new way? How do I know what to say? what to do, how do I act, and how do I act in a self-differentiated way? And typically I will let them borrow my objectivity to help them. But I think today's video is about a tool that might help you with uh, thinking outside the system box. I had a female client, she's about 52 years old, she asked me when her co-worker or mother or husband or whomever says, for example, well, you always are just so sensitive. You, you just don't know, I don't know why you're being so difficult. Often our first response is to become reactive or, or to be pushed and pulled by the emotional feelings in the system, in the relationship. And we become reactive and we either, we comply or we withdraw or we get angry or we cry or in general, we become some childlike state we kind of regress and go back and become something other than who we are as adults. It is difficult for us to speak, behave, and respond in a way which is mature for us and to act our age. It's difficult for us to do that because we haven't practiced that. We don't know how to do that. We also weren't modeled that as well. And we have difficulty in responding because we feel caught in the relationship dynamics and the emotional field of what's going on between the two of us. We feel fogged, we get gaslighted, we get misdirected, we accept illogical arguments, uh, we, we just get all discombobulated. Uh, because we're just so observationally blind at this point because our our emotional field, that fight or flight limbic system is taking control of our thinking, our feeling, and it's really causing us a problem. And so we don't know how to react in a healthy, mature, or self-differentiated way. Um, we also... Uh, our, our paradigm that we have between them and us, we share the same paradigm or the way of looking or a same subjectivity that we share between mom and me or the co-worker and me. We share the same paradigm. And because we share the same paradigm, uh, we're thinking and feeling with this, within the same emotional box. And we don't have a well-defined sense of self and so we don't have a me paradigm, we just have all of the we paradigm. We do the expected role and reactivity that we've always done, though often we swing from one pendulum swing to the, to the other. We get angry or hurt, or what, and then we move back over here, withdrawn and, dis, and cutting off, and we just move back and forth between that pendulum. Because both of those edges, both of the 180 degrees fit within this subjective emotional field box. They fit within there. The 90 degree mark or healthy self doesn't fit in that box. So how do we think and feel outside that box? How do we do that? How do we try to do that? We react in a way which keeps the status quo and keeps the same emotional equilibrium and coordination of feelings because there is a coordination of feelings between them and us because we share the same, in some ways, self. We share the same dynamic, the same paradigm. And so we um, react within that and this just keeps the status quo and doesn't change anything no matter which end of the pendulum we go. And this makes it very difficult for us to be ourselves uh, or to be different 
in the relationship. Uh, we're being, acting, feeling, and speaking the same as we always have. And yet we hope for a different outcome. We hope for either them to change or me to change or the system to change. But we're just operating within the functioning system. It, it's not going to change no matter how you react if you're sharing the same box. It's not going to be different. It's not going to change. So whenever we are doing the same thing, we keep expecting a different response or have the relationship change in some way, or even we want them to change. But actually, the only person we can change is us. And how we relate to the box and how and if we can step outside the box. And that's what self-differentiation and family systems work is to help you step outside the box so you can be a mature you and a self differentiated you. I said to the female client, I said, well, well let's try this. Uh, you know, um, what would Betty do? By the way, this client's not named Betty. And she goes, what do you mean, what would Betty do? And I said, think of someone who's neutral or detached or mature, somebody your age, and we'll call her Betty, whoever you have in your mind. Now ask yourself, Given what was just said to you, or what's going on in the relationship, what would Betty say or do? What would the neighbor say or do? Somebody outside of the system. Because if we begin to think, what would Betty do? This takes us outside the system as it is functioning within us. It gives us a fresh new approach to the problem and our response. We step away from our roles, the expected behavior and responses because Betty or the neighbor or some mature person would not be responding in the same way I would. And we also step in outside the intergenerational intimidation because if Betty's talking to mom, there's not going to be that intergenerational intimidation felt by Betty. The fear of what the co-worker might think or our guilt or are we being accepted Will we be rejected? Are we doing something wrong? Betty's not going to feel that. So how would she respond? It gives us just a little more emotional space and neutrality in our thinking and our emotional processing. Ask if, you know, what would, what would Betty do? What might she do? What would be her reaction? What would be her response to mom, the co-worker, whoever you're struggling, your husband? How would I respond to this? What would Betty do with the second response? In other words, if I gave a Betty response and they would respond back to me, what would I do with the second response? And that begins to get me outside the box that I'm in emotionally, in the emotional field. She thought about what Betty would do. The client thought about what Betty might do. And she said, well, she would not agree with the characterization of the situation. She would not agree with the logic, and she wouldn't really accept the put-down in this, in this uh, statement. As a result, Betty would probably calmly say to mom or the co-worker, whomever, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm as sensitive as you think, and that I don't believe I'm being difficult. As I said, I only wanted to mention that when you talk about dad that way, I'm uncomfortable. And I would rather not be a part of your marriage, Mom. That's what a neighbor would say, or a healthy, mature adult might say. Or the J.C. Penney's clerk. Mom then replies with, Well, I didn't know you didn't care, and that I'm only trying to tell you how difficult your father is being. Why are you so cold and unfeeling? And again, what would Betty say if she got that response from someone else? Well, I don't share your view that I'm being cold and unfeeling. I do care about you and dad. I just don't have any solutions to your marital issues. I would suggest you talk to someone who might be able to help a coach or a therapist as I have done. As much as I care about you and dad, I would not want to come between you and him. I hope you'll understand. That's what a neighbor would say. That's what Betty would say. That's what a neutral third party would say. So now I'm practicing what it might be like to be outside this box. 
Betty is staying outside the enmeshment, the family fusion, the role of overfunctioning stress receptacle, meaning mom's got to bring all of her stress to me or the coworker or whoever, and that I st- and that Betty steps out of being the fixer for mom or fixer for the coworker or fixer for the situation. Betty is caring, but not over sympathetic or over empathetic. She also has a more well-defined self, and she acts calmly. That's what most adults or mature adults would do. And remember, we can act maturely without being calm. It is possible to be anxious inside and act maturely, doing and saying what Betty would do, even though I feel nervous. and uh, I'm going to practice that, and I'm going to do it anyway. Um because it would be better to deal with that anxiety and and behave and act in a mature way than to do the same thing you would always do inside the box because that's going to keep the same status quo going over and over again it's not going to change anything i just wanted to share this as one of the tools we use in the uh, in our work to achieve greater self-differentiation Uh, I hope today has been a help to you. I wanted to share this video with you. I hope you'll please contact me if you'd like to work with a self-expert. Go to my website, www.jerrywiserelationshipsystems.com. You can sign up for our mailing list on that website. You can join my Facebook page. Please join this YouTube channel, Jerry Wise Relationship Systems. And I want to thank you for watching today. And have a great day.